Hello friends, in today's video we're going to go over how you can get all of the brand new Kitakami uniforms and masks in your playthrough of the Teal Mask DLC. First up, getting the masks. As soon as you've done the festival part of your playthrough in the story mode, you're going to be able to go back to Kitakami Hall, which is located here on your map, and visit the mask vendor. The mask vendor will sell all six of the Kitakami masks, including the Ogapon, Okadogi, Pheasantipity, and Monkadori, as well as the Pikachu and Eevee masks. They all cost around 800 polka dollars each, so not too expensive, and you're going to be able to get the full set of these masks once you've got them. You can go into your customization screen here by toggling left on your D-pad and you can pick which mask you would like to wear and don throughout your playthrough. To finish your playthrough, there are three more uniforms that you can access in the game. Now, once you've finished the, the main story mode of the Teal Mask, if you go back to Kirin and Carmen's house and speak to their grandma, she will give you two more Jinbi uniforms. So there is a blue one and a white one. I really like both of these and they just give you a little bit extra customization to your character. The final Jinbi that you can get in the game is by doing a little side quest after you've complete the main storyline. If you go back to the Kitakami Hall and to the main pavilion area as you can see here and speak to the caretaker he'll go into a story about how he's trying to raise money fundraiser to rebuild the loyal three statue that got destroyed when the, the loyal three kind of emerged in your playthrough he's requesting one million polka dollars to rebuild this and will take donations of 10,000 and 100,000 polka dollars at a time. Every time you donate 10,000 or 100,000 polka dollars towards this fundraiser for rebuilding the statues, you're going to be given pretty feathers as a reward until you've hit that 1 million polka dollars mark. After you've done this, you'll enter a cutscene with the caretaker where you'll see the Loyal 3 statue being rebuilt. And as an extra reward at the end, you'll be given the Festival Jinbi, which you can see here, and probably one of the nicest uniforms that we've got in Kitakami. Very expensive, though, if you're thinking that you've just basically paid a million polka dollars for this one piece of uniform. Now, after spending one million polka dollars, there is a way for you to do an extra side quest in the games to recoup some of this money or as close to a million polka dollars as possible. And this involves doing a side quest with the Glitterati. So to do this side quest, you need to head back to Masui Town, then speak to this NPC character here. And after speaking to her, head in this direction to speak to these NPC characters in these gold outfits. These Glitterati will take you around various locations in Paldea, Kitakami, and also battle you along the way. The big tip here before starting the initial battle is to attach the amulet coin, if you've got it, to the first Pokemon in your party. Use a fighting type of any kind because they're primarily going to use either Persian or Arbolivia, both normal type Pokemon. So you're going to have a pretty easy time against them. They'll be set to around level 65 as well. So you shouldn't have too much trouble with the three battles that are initiated throughout this side quest. But by attaching the amulet coin, you are going to double the money rewards that you get from the Glitterati throughout these battles. After this initial meeting, you'll have the battle and then they will leave and head to some other location. You will need to go around different locations where they head to after each cutscene and find them to get rewards and kind of end this short side quest. The first place that you're going to head is to the North Province Area 2 back in Paldea. You'll find them by heading to the Fire Scrouge Shrine and finding them just below the waterfall, as you can see here, and receiving 15 big pearls before they move on to their next location. Now head to the South Province Area 1 to the Grass Wither Shrine and go to this location here. And you'll find them once again receiving 15 nuggets. They will move on again, but back to Kitakami this time. And you're going to have to find them in the Apple Hills in Kitakami where you will have another battle with Onair, and this time you'll just get a reward of the battle money. This is why it's important to attach that amulet coin to your Pokemon, making sure that you're maximizing the money that you're getting from this side quest. Next up, they do head back to Paldea, so you're going to have to find them on this small island on the Casaroya Lake, and you'll find them here, and the reward this time when you find the couple will be 10 pearl strings. The next spot, you're going to have to head up in the north area of the Glissado Mountain, you can see here it is marked on the map where Onair will give you 10 big nuggets once you've found them. And this is before they move on to their final location in Paldea, 
where they head to the edge of the Area Zero crater. We will have another battle with Unair this time. She will use the Oblivia and Persian. You'll get a very big reward of Pokemon dollars for the battle itself, especially if you're holding that amulet coin. And on top of that, you're going to be giving 25 big nuggets and the Glitterati case, which you can put on your, your Roto deck. So that is the rewards from these. And that will be the end of this little side quest. But if you sell all of the items that you've been given throughout this little side quest, as well as the money that you've kind of racked up throughout the battles, it'll just be under 1 million polka dollars, meaning that you're kind of doing this side quest to kind of pay for the festival Jinbi. But these are all of the items that you're going to be able to access in the DLCs. There are three Jinbis that you can get, not including the one that you get from your playthrough initially, which is the green one, the original one, and the six masks that you can get on top of that with the Ogapon, Pheasantipity, Monkadori, Pikachu, and the Eevee mask. So I hope you found today's video useful friends if you have please drop a like do hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our pokemon scarlet and violet content let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite uniform is from the ones that we've covered in today's episode my favorite is definitely the festival gym beat although it costs like a million polka dollars but we got it back right we got it back but that's definitely my favorite love to hear yours have a great rest of your day thanks so much for tuning in and until next time friends take care of yourselves Bye bye